melting point, boiling point, and the state of matter. Okay, the physical state of a substance at certain temperature and pressure depends on its melting point and boiling point. For example, so, um, let's say we have a substance, the freezing point of water is uh, 0 degrees Celsius. Okay, so when lower than the freezing point, uh, it exists as ice, right? Solid state. Eh? Okay. And when it's higher than the freezing point, then uh, it exists as water, the liquid state. And the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Higher than 100 degrees Celsius, it exists as gaseous state. And uh, lower than 100 degrees, it exists as liquid state. Okay, so from here, we can see that uh, if the temperatures of a substance is lower than the freezing point, it exists as solid state. If it's uh, in between boiling point and freezing point, then it exists as uh, liquid. And uh, when the temperature is higher than the boiling point, then it exists as a gaseous state. Now let's see these examples. Eh? Substance X exists as a liquid at a temperature of 85 degrees Celsius. Okay, what is the most likely melting point and boiling point of substance X? Now just now we learned that um, a substance exists as liquid when the temperature is in between boiling point and freezing point. Okay, uh, so therefore the boiling point must be higher than 85 degrees Celsius, eh? okay? And the freezing point must be lower because this must be in between, okay? Lower than the boiling point, higher than the freezing point. Okay, so let's see. The boiling point must be higher than 85, eh? so uh, A and D is out, okay? Because uh, it's, it's lower than 85, eh? okay? The boiling point must be higher than 85. So maybe B or maybe C, okay? And then uh, the, the melting point or freezing point must be lower than 85 eh, in order for it to be liquid. Uh, okay, so I think the answer is this one, negative 5. Eh? Negative 5 is lower than 85. This one cannot because this one is higher. Okay, so therefore the answer is B. Eh?